and welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I talk about all kinds of edible and non-edible things that interest me. And in, t and in today's video, I need to tell you about something that occurred in my yard. If you're a subscriber or viewer of the channel, you know that I have been growing cactus fruit, dragon fruit, in my yard now for the last uh, 15 years, 10, 15 years. And one of the things I did was to tree form a dragon fruit, this was a yellow dragon fruit, into this sea grape. And recently it set seven fruit. One there, there, there. You can see they're not there anymore. As a matter of fact, there is the scene of the crime. That's where one of the dragon fruit were. There's another one. Yeah, so somebody stole my dragon fruit. That's what happened. And that's what happens when you put fruit down by the curb. In medieval times, they would plant trees, fruit trees, along the side of the road, knowing people were going to steal the fruit. And uh, I knew that when I planted this. But still, can't help but wish I had maybe picked it prior somebody just came and grabbed it all so I learned a lot of things about dragon fruit though as part of this fruit finally ripening one thing is that there are three different types of dragon fruit now if you're interested in dragon fruit go ahead and look in the links I give links to where you can get it online both the fruit the seeds and the plants these are very easy to grow from cuttings I'm going to do some some cuttings uh, videos coming up very soon. I got actually 50 pots and I'm starting a new series called What's Growing On and I'm gonna, I actually just got the fertilizer as well, it's in my truck. And I'm gonna start growing from cuttings all kinds of things in my yard and this will be one of them. This is the yellow dragon fruit. But there are three kinds. There's the yellow with the white inside, there is the red with the white inside and then the red with the red inside. And I'm not exactly sure what the differences are in the flavors of them, but I know they are super cool looking. And one of the things I realized as I was looking online was that the fruit are very expensive. It was like $5 for a single piece of fruit, uh, which I thought was pretty expensive. Occasionally I see them in the grocery store here. and. I'm going to grab one next time. I don't think they're $5 each, but if you're wanting to try it, go ahead and check out those links and grab some. <laughs> Let me know how they were. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait for this one to bloom again, but now that I know it blooms, I will pick it earlier so that it doesn't get grabbed. You know, I was I had seen this fruit a month ago and just decided not to pick it. Uh, interesting thing is we had a hailstorm and it got jabbed with the hailstones pretty badly but it's recovered quite nicely and as you can see there are a number of good cuttings like this one right here perfect cutting and again some more that are great cutting so I'll be growing those soon so go ahead if you haven't already subscribe to eat your backyard and click the notification bell so you're notified as new videos come out they're coming out all the time why don't you go ahead and uh, check out the links see if you are interested in growing a dragon fruit cactus for yourself and thanks for watching eat your backyard